Exactly right. I've been bullish on Tesla for the last 10 years. It's hard to imagine an auto company executing better than Tesla has, growing last year 31 billion, this year on a track to do 48 billion, 50% growth. No one else in the auto world is doing that. Having said that, Tesla's not going to be king of the hill in electric forever. Hello, hello, it's Roland Mills, a classically trained opera singer and former starving artist. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to inspire you to make money and build real wealth. So subscribe for more personal finance conversations like this one. Wow, wow. So Steve Wesley of the Wesley Group claims that Tesla won't be the number one EV maker once all is said and done. He is so wrong. Today we're going over exactly how wrong he is and how it might be literally impossible for anyone else to catch up now. Quick disclaimer, I am not a licensed financial advisor. I'm just an opera singer on YouTube, sharing what information has worked for me in the hopes that it will inspire you to grow your wealth as well. Before we get started, let me just introduce you to the to this guy. Yeah, it's 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 the like button. It's the like button. So just uh, uh, you, you smash it, and it spreads the word to other people like you. It's like a power that you have. Also hit subscribe and hit that notification bell thing that's probably right in front of my face, so you don't miss out on future tips I'll be dropping along the way. Alrighty then, let's get into it. Yeah, so CNBC may have just aired their most disliked video ever. Steve Wesley of the Wesley Group just made a bold claim. Uh, the Wesley Group is one of the largest venture funds in North America, and they focus on energy and transportation. They have over 500 million under management, and I worry about their investors now. It may cause you to cringe a bit, but let's listen to his point of view before tearing it apart. Talk to me a little bit about the ways that all of these um, big old traditional automakers doubling down on electric vehicles creates a, a scenario that might be a problem for Tesla. Well, look, you're, you're exactly right. I've been bullish on Tesla for the last 10 years. It's hard to imagine an auto company executing better than Tesla has, growing last year 31 billion, this year on a track to do 48 billion, 50% growth. No one else in the auto world is doing that. Having said that, Tesla's not going to be king of the hill in electric forever. And what's important to note is Volkswagen, under her release, has said we're all in on electrics. Mary Barra has said we'll be all electric by 2035. Volvo came out yesterday, one up them saying they'll be all electric by 2030. And what's interesting is Tesla's not just getting hit from the high end, the people like Audi e-tron, which is great, and the Porsche Taycan, they're now getting pressure from the low end, especially the Chinese. What's interesting is in markets that Tesla has dominated, like Europe, where they have historically were number one, they're now number four behind uh, uh, Hyundai VW uh, uh, and also the uh, Peugeot Zoe. So they're getting competition from all sectors. They're gonna have to double down to compete. You hear him? He claims Tesla won't be king of the hill. You kidding me? He claims the competition is coming. What competition? Mm -hmm. There are a lot of other established and startup automakers entering the EV space, and the assumption is that anyone can do what Tesla has done. They won't. L let's discuss how. Number one, talent. Let's follow first principles and start from the ground up. In order for any tech slash manufacturing company to dominate, they need the best talent. According to a recent study by Universum, engineering students list Tesla and SpaceX as their most desired places to work after graduation. Tesla also made the top 10 list for computer science students. This means that Tesla will perpetually get the cream of the crop the best minds in the business with the greatest ideas on how to innovate, while every other company will have to make do with the second best. Number two, brand recognition. Historically, when you think of a reliable and affordable car, you think of a, a Toyota or a Honda. When you think of buying a new truck, you think of Ford, right? When you're looking for luxury, you might think of buying a BMW or an Audi or a Mercedes. See, those brands have been tied to the success of internal combustion engines. Why does the brand matter? Ask yourself this. When you need to blow your nose, what do you reach for? Exactly. A Kleenex. Not a tissue, a Kleenex. That brand has become synonymous to the identity of the product. That's why you rarely find yourself in the store adding 
Scotties to your cart. Like seriously, what are those? Here's a challenge for you. Uh, uh, try Google searching uh, alternatives to Kleenex other than puffs and, and prove me wrong. Comment down below, you know, with what brands you find. Okay, rant's over. But seriously, just like Kleenex, people don't think, oh, I want to go buy an electric car today. No, they think I want to buy a Tesla. Everything else is dollar store brand. Number three, batteries. We already know that the biggest bottleneck to Tesla's growth is battery supply. Tesla has been around for over a decade already, establishing extremely lucrative contracts with all the major battery producers and are manufacturing their own superior batteries. Tell me, where will this competition get their battery supply from? Number four, manufacturing. Unlike most of those other EV startups, Tesla actually has factories and produces vehicles. Yeah, that's become a criteria we talk about now. Huh, for real, like they don't have they don't have factories? Yeah, yeah, they don't have factories, but they're but they're valued at like billions of dollars. For what? Exactly, that's what I said, for what? But really though, like they have nothing. They have nice pictures of cars, um, and they're selling that. So, and they make how much money? I'm in the wrong business. This is a barrier for legacy automakers too, as they have to retool their production lines to make EVs. This process is almost as costly as building a whole new factory from scratch. Tesla currently has the greatest capacity to produce the most EVs, which means not only is Tesla in the lead, but they are also running this race at a faster pace. Elon Musk has said that no other automaker will touch Tesla in terms of manufacturing. They make the machines that make the tools that make the machines that build ma the machines. No other automaker is that vertically integrated. Back in the age of internal combustion vehicles, automakers could shop different parts from different catalogs to upgrade their vehicles. Tesla's competitors will see Tesla innovate but won't have the ability to keep up as they can't just order the same part that Tesla used. Tesla is constantly improving their process and finding ways to accomplish more with less. A couple of the greatest examples of this are Tesla's new structural battery pack and casted aluminum aluminum body. Instead of using 170 parts to piece together the rear end of a vehicle, Tesla just casts the entire section in one piece. This gets rid of warping issues and the complexities of trying to, you know, weld or epoxy parts made of different materials together. Number five, the cost. All that vertical integration stuff I was mentioning before, uh, that's part of their manufacturing process, coupled with the constant refinement and improvement by Tesla's superior talent pool, leads to lower manufacturing costs, and these discounts are passed on to the consumer. The result? Tesla will always be able to undercut all competitors on price while delivering a higher quality vehicle. Case in point, you have the Tesla Cybertruck coming out. Yeah. It was the first EV uh, announced that had a range over 500 miles. And guess how much it costs? Guess how much? Number six? Number six. Autonomous technology. Tesla will be the first to launch a level five AI powered robo taxi network. How? Data. Artificial intelligence needs data in order to teach itself how to improve. Tesla and Waymo are currently the forerunners in this race and the prize is worth trillions of dollars. Trillions with a T. Waymo has collected millions of miles of data while Tesla has collected billions and have an ever expanding network of vehicles on the road collecting more each day. There's literally no way for another automaker to catch up to that real world driving data lead. These are all just some of the reasons why Steve Wesley is wrong and why I have bought the dip and picked up even more shares of Tesla at 588 bucks a share just last week. Last year, Elon Musk said that he expects to grow 50% year over year for the next decade. Just going off of that, since Tesla ended 2020 at uh, I think $705 a share, that would mean 2021 should end just over a thousand bucks a share. That means that the shares that I picked up last week should 2X this year. That said, I think Tesla will outperform that goal and wouldn't be surprised if we saw Tesla over 1200 bucks by the end of 2021. If you're looking to buy some shares of Tesla on the cheap, pick up two free stocks along the way with Webull. That's right, if you use my link in the description below and fund your account with 100 bucks, they'll give you two free stocks valued up to $1,850. Yeah, 
That's free money, y'all. Just in case you've been living under a rock and have no idea what Tesla even is and what I've been rambling on about, uh, Tesla is a company that produces electric cars car insurance, solar panels and roofs, and battery packs that you can stick to the side of your house to save money. Tesla was founded in 2003 with a mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. At first, they were seen as a joke. In fact, even now, experienced investors like Steve Wesley uh, think the company can't compete with legacy automakers. Tesla has managed to create products that are not only cost-effective alternatives to internal combustion engines, but are faster, better looking, and offer far more features than your standard or even luxury car. They are the first American car company to go public since Ford did in 1956, but they are far more than just an automaker. They are building the future and conquering the most profitable sectors of our economy in the process. Sure, this stock is volatile, but that just means more opportunities will come up to buy shares of a great company at discounted prices. So rather than panic selling, just, you know, chill out. Buy more shares of Tesla and read a good book like this one, written by my beautiful wife, Jessie Marie. Link below in the description if you're curious. Well, that's the end of today's video. I hope you found it educational and entertaining. I'll eventually monetize this channel just so YouTube will blast it out to more people, but I really, I really am not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because I truly believe that there must be a way for artists like myself and my friends to create without becoming starving artists. Stay tuned for more personal finance tips, reaction videos, and stories from my days as a performer in the future. In the meanwhile, feel free to follow me on Instagram and comment down below if there's a specific topic you'd like to see me tackle next. Till the next time, I hope you all keep creating and spreading love through your arts. That's something that money cannot buy and it's the best part of the human experience. Much love y'all. Bye.